Did that really just happen? Did Daniel Bryan really beat AJ Styles on SmackDown Live for the WWE Championship and now will be facing Brock Lesnar on Survivor Series on Sunday? And not only that, did he really just turn heel? Yes, yes, yes. And I couldn't be any more happy because, as you guys know, Daniel Bryan's been a threat wrestler for I don't know how many years now. And I couldn't be more happy for the guy. I'm absolutely thrilled. But at the same time, I'm very disappointed because AJ Styles was two months shy. Just two months. I believe mid-January. Maybe like a two... Two weeks before the Royal Rumble, I want to say, he would have broke CM Punk's 434 top reign record. And I believe, you know, me and I think a lot of other people as well thought that that was their plan. You know, to have AJ Styles break that record before he lost the championship. You know, he's been champion for just over a year now. You know, he's he passed the one-year mark last week. And, he, you know, everyone, I'm pretty sure, like I said, assumed he was breaking Punk's record. And then, you know, all of a sudden today, you know, WWE decided to kick in their, you know, Ch plans change, um, you know, mantra, and man, did they change because Dana Bryan won the championship out of nowhere, and it was an exciting title change because I'm getting a dream match that I've been wanting to get for the past four years. I felt like we got robbed out of seeing it, which we did because it was, it was supposed to happen on SummerSlam 2014, but of course, Bryan got injured, relinquished the championship, and Brock won it from John Cena that year, and then my hope was that Dana Bryan was going to win the Royal Rumble 2015 and face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 31. I actually have a video on my channel that I made four years ago discussing that, so if you want to check that out, you guys can, but you know, it's a four-year-old video that never even happened, so it doesn't even really matter. But here we are, in 2018, you know, years after Dana Bryan retired, now he's back, uh, which, by the way, what a hell of a seven months Brian's had since coming back. He came back at WrestleMania. He had a pointless feud with Big Cass. He jobbed out to the Bludgeon Brothers. He jobbed to the Miz at SummerSlam, but then he squashed the Miz at Super Showdown. And now he, here he is, the WWE Champion. And not only that, I guess he's heel again, which that, I'm really conflicted about that because heel dinner Brian's absolutely awesome, but I'm not sure if turning him heel is the right decision. I don't, I don't really know if that was a good idea on their part, but... Man, um, <laughs> I'm just super, super thrilled about it. You know, the match itself was great. So this won't be a full SmackDown Live review. It'll just be my thoughts pretty much on Dana Bryan with the championship. The match was great. Uh, not as good as their match from two weeks ago. The formula is pretty much the exact same, but it, the roles are reversed because in that match, we all know, you know, AJ was targeting the leg of Bryan and working on it to set up the cap crusher. In this match, Bryan was working on AJ's left arm the entire time in hopes of... Uh, uh, beating him with the uh, with the yes lock and finish came AJ's going for the phenomenal forearm referee got involved or Brian kind of like got out of the way end up like he didn't hit, I don't think he hit the referee he actually he did the referee I believe he kind of like ran into him and when he did that he's kind of like oh shit and then all of a sudden turns around Brian just low blows the fuck out of him AJ's sitting there going oh fuck and Brian's like got that evil look on his face like oh, this is my time and hits the running knee, and one, two, three, Daniel Bryan is the brand new WWE Champion facing Brock Lesnar this Sunday at Survivor Series, which I'm absolutely thrilled about. Like I said, I've been waiting for that match for four years now, and I'm very, very excited that we're finally getting it. And I, like I said, so many emotions because like I'm happy, but I'm pissed because I want, I really want to ages break that record, but I love Daniel Bryan, so I don't mind it at all. And the fact that I'm getting the dream match that I've wanted for years, Brock Lesnar and Daniel Bryan, I just, ah, uh, oh man, it's it's just all over the place for me, and and it's it's really intriguing to see where things go. Like I said, with Dana Bryan now being a heel, I I, didn't, I absolutely loved the way Bryan sold everything. And the moment he hit the low blow, the look on his face, the meter in his you know eyes, just you can tell everything was changing. And then the moment he won was still like, even though he's a heel, he like kind of like was I don't want to say he celebrated like a face because he held that championship and just looked at it like with that like that evil look like yeah I I, I fucking did it. And, I don't know, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was awesome the way it played out. I'm still, like I said, not really too sure I feel about Dinner Bryan being heel again, because even though he is great as a heel, uh, I just, I don't know, I feel like he definitely should have been that number one face spot, and definitely, could, you know, especially with his comeback story. Like, I know it's been months and months and months since he's been back, but, you know, that, that was his whole conclusion of his story, was winning the championship. And, uh, you know, here he is, and he did, you know, he went at any means necessary for winning the championship, and... Does this mean a potential double turn in the future? Well, I mean, Brian, I guess, is healed, but does that mean Miz turns face then? Because pretty much everything Brian did proved Miz right. Miz said everything that Brian, you know, was. He's a failure, he's this and that, and Brian had a retort because he couldn't beat AJ one-on-one, -on -one, you know, a couple weeks ago. And now he is resorting to cheating to win the championship, and he pretty much proved everything that Miz said right. So do you turn Miz face? To set up him versus a heel Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania, that'd make for a very interesting story if you ask me. Because I, you know, I've always I wanted Miz and Bryan for WrestleMania uh, since you know Bryan or Bryan came back, and I figured you know Miz could beat AJ, 
Brian went the Rumble, and that's how he set it up. But now with the roles reversed, I think it makes for an even more intriguing story because now Miz is on a mission to win the championship because Brian's a dick now, apparently. And I think Miz chasing him could be a good idea. And I could definitely think that could lead to a great story at WrestleMania where, you know, like I said, Miz was proven right. And Brian's, you know, I can see Brian telling Miz, like, ah, oh, shut up, I'm WWE champion. I don't really care what you said because I'm champion, blah, blah, blah. He can just be an arrogant dick about it. Then Miz goes, you know what? I'm just going to be for the championship to prove what I said right. And, you know. I think that could make it for a great story for WrestleMania 35 next year if they go on that route. But, you know, the, the possibilities are endless as Brian's champion. You know, I think Jeff Hardy should be in line. But what sucks about him being a heel now is to cancel out matches like Randy Orton, Samoa Joe, Shinsuke Nakamura. It just cancels out because the majority of, like, the top names on SmackDown Live are heels. So it really cancels and really minimizes his opportunity to face guys for the championship uh, in the future. But... Hopefully, Brian and AJ get a rematch at TLC in a TLC match, which if they do that, I'm going to I'm gonna have to go to TLC because TLC is only two hours from where I live, so I'll definitely try and make that trip possible to go to that show to see that, just to see that match alone. And um, yeah, just like I said, I'm very, very happy for Dana Bryan. Very interested to see where it leads going forward. To me, like I said, I'm kind of torn because I'm very happy about it, but at the same time, kind of, you know, irritated because I really wanted uh, Styles to break that record in. It was just really random because this match didn't have any build to it. It just really happened on the fly. But you know what? It adds that uh, that mystique that, you know, the shows are must-see every week because anything can happen. And it's, that, that showcased it perfectly that anything can happen in WWE. And um, like I said, plans change. Dream match between Brock Lesnar and Daniel Bryan is finally happening. Like, that's honestly... I say it out loud, and it still doesn't seem real to me. That just seems like just something that's so out there that the fact that it's becoming reality, you know, is is, is awesome. I'm absolutely thrilled that it's becoming reality. So, Dan O'Brien and Brock Lesnar should tear the house down. You know, Brock and AJ would have tore the house down again, but uh, I think this could be a definitely interesting match. But it's going to be weird because they're both heels, so... Not really too sure how it's going to play out, but uh, I'm really excited for uh, Dana Bryan's reign as the WWE Champion. I'm really excited to see him and for Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series, and I'm just, you know, I'm very happy. This is a good time for wrestling. I'm definitely intrigued and, and very interested to see where things go forward, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please like below. If you guys like the comment section, leave your guys' thoughts on Dana Bryan dethroning AJ Styles and winning the WWE Championship on SmackDown Live tonight, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching the video.